smite the water on top.
dying. Watch me. sitting flat. So now, if anything is too small to make 6x6, six 2x6, by 1x6, six, by six, by six, right now I just turn it into these 5x5s five so we can use them to make more raised bed planter boxes for in the garden. They don't have to be perfect for that. They can have a little bark on them, wane, whatever you want to call them. I grew up calling it wane, but bark, same thing's bark. Um, doesn't matter. So we take a... Nine of these will build 
a raised bed planter box, four by eight feet by 15 inches high. Three, three per side. And uh, yeah, the ends only takes three um, to build the ends because they're only four foot and these are eight foot logs. So, so it'll work out good. So now hopefully this one, this one, we can get some good two by six out of there to build, start building that wall up there. Then we need 10 footers to make the floor joists for up top. We're gonna to build that wall first and then we'll start building um, floor joists, I believe. Two by six over the pile when you Yep. But don't carve up that one inch because we're gonna move that one inch for the blade. Okay, so out of that, we ended up getting six uh, decent two by six. There's one that's got a lot of bark on it, but it will work fine. So we got six two by six, two five by fives. So that's good. Now, if these, if I had to square these into six by six, but they weren't big enough, I would have got another six out of here. Yeah, because uh, on a six by six, I get three two by six. That's pretty easy math. I'm sure you could figure that out. <laughs> so, so two logs there, we turn into three two by six. And then these two logs, all we get was a five by fives, but they'll work good for the raised bed planter boxes. Our little slab pile is growing nicely, so we want to eventually cut that up for firewood with that buzzsaw and get that tossed somewhere and we'll use that for firewood this winter. So anyways, that's it for today, folks. We've put that beam up as you've seen, and then we mill the rest of this. We're gonna take these in the morning. We're probably going to toss them up on the floor up there because we're going to need them up there. We're also going to get a load of logs tomorrow as well, correct, Heather? If the weather stays good. It looked like it was gonna rain all day here, but it held off, we got lucky. Yep. So we figured we'd take a chance, get some tools out, 
put that beam up and get to work and that sky still looks pretty dark but it's held off hopefully tomorrow we can get to this so ten footers, right? ten footers yep yeah. we got to go bring ten footers out of the bush so that's good it'll be okay we'll do that and we're going to take our battery saw again mm -hmm. we'll take in our one of our blue eddies we had another blue eddy sent to us we have to do a review on it's, it's a nicer blue well i mean it's not a nicer one it's it's a smaller blue eddy i should say so um yeah they're all nice blue eddy makes super good products i can't recommend them uh they do what's that they do make really good yeah i mean i i, I can't recommend any more than i do because they are the best out there i think that i've tested so far so um other than your little energizer you really like your little energizer don't you for what you I, use I it do. for Absolutely. Yeah, I do yeah. Really like because it. it's it's the perfect size for you it's only 300 watt yeah it's just for what i need yeah. And the energy and the blue eddy they sent me was a i believe it's a five or seven hundred watt okay. seven hundred watt it's seven hundred because that that battery charger takes almost around five hundred watts to charge our chainsaw battery that's what it goes through five hundred watts okay. and that thing produce and that thing uh produces seven hundred watts so so we have uh yeah it's five five hundred or five hundred watts i think or five i'm not sure i'll show you when i get it working yeah. anyways you folks take care and uh, please nail that thumbs up on the way out if you like this video i sure hope you did we usually fast motion this saw milling because it'd be just too boring if i went same speed people be walking out real fast on the videos so that's the only way i know how to do it is just fast motion it i want to show you everything we do when it comes to this project so we're on this project probably full time now correct yes Yes. We're on this Unless until something comes up that we have to. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Like a like say something happens to your dad's vehicle or your mom's vehicle or something like that, we will continue doing what we are doing on it. Absolutely. Yeah. So may we're take it. May have to take a day and mow the grass, but that's about it. Yep. But we're on this pole building now, from here on out. Exactly. Hope you stick around, folks. Please smash that thumbs up and let us know what you think. We really appreciate that. You take care, and we'll talk to you later. Bye, bye all.